Hi everyone! Here's a quick tutorial showing you how to make use of the product options and option choice features for your online store. So I'm logged into the member zone of my account and I'll click to open the site builder. So if you've already created your online store using the website.com site builder, you can go ahead and add products. We have lots of video tutorials showing you how to create your online store, so don't forget to check those out. So I've already created my store and I'm going to click store on the left to open it. And you can click open store manager or we can quickly just click add new product. Mainly in this video I want to show you how to make use of product options and option choices. And you can see that feature down here. For example, I'll just click this open. You can think of the product option name as the category and the option choices as the different variations for the product. For example, if I'm a musician or a comedian and I'm selling tickets for a certain tour on my website, the product name would be my tour event. So for example, spring comedy tour. So I've made that the product name and I'll scroll back down so if I have multiple dates at multiple locations for my tour, I could make the option name Select Show. Or just Event. Then for the choices for this option, I can write the show date with the dash and the show location. So for example, for the choices, I can write May 24-Vancouver and then add a comma, then create another choice. May 25th, Seattle. May 27th, LA. We're gonna scroll up and we'll make sure in the description we have the full details about the event and the address and exact times for each show. So this is what customers are going to see when they're on your website. And here's a pro tip about using product options. A good rule of thumb to decide if it's a good idea to add a product option is if you have more than one choice for the option. So we see for this option show, we have multiple choices. For my example, I only have one show per location, so it's not very useful to add an event location as another product option, which is why I lumped them together like this. So instead, I just include the show location as a detail beside the show date. So for example, May 24-Vancouver is an option choice. So by doing this, I need only to make one product with one product option with multiple option choices. Of course, if you have multiple shows at multiple locations, for example, if you have 10 shows in Vancouver on multiple dates and eight shows in LA on multiple dates, you might wanna add Vancouver show as its own product and then add the show dates as your product options. and then LA show as another separate product with show dates as the product option. So the way you categorize your products in your store really depends on your specific needs. I'll just click save and then click done. Now I'll show you another case where you would have multiple product options. So I'll click add new product and for example, if I own a candy shop and I'm selling candy gift boxes on my website, I could have box size as a product option and candy flavor as another option. And again, each option has multiple choices. Again, just add a comma to create a new choice. So I'll add a new option, candy flavors.
strawberry, chocolate, and deluxe mixed. The neat thing about the product and option feature is that you can add different surcharges for each combination. So you'll see you can customize the settings per option. For example, I could set small and all the flavors besides Deluxe as the base price, but for Deluxe, it could be an additional surcharge of $1. So I'll choose that right here. Add $1. I can also set surcharges for all the different sizes besides small. Once I've done that, just click Save. Again, make sure you fill in all the details for each product. Because I'm just showing you how to use the product options, there are a lot of things that I've missed, for example, the price and the description. But for yourself, make sure you fill all those details in. So I'm gonna click out of this, and I'll publish my website. Now we're going to go to our live site. I'll go to the store. And we're going to click on one of these products. So we'll see here the candy boxes we just created. Customers can choose their size and the flavor and then add it to cart. You'll see that the price adjusted accordingly. We'll go back to my products. And we'll look at the comedy show tickets. You can see the description that we added right here. And here is the product option and the choices for that option, which have the date and the location. So we hope this video shows you how you can make use of the product option and option choice feature. We hope you can see that a product option is the category name for the variation of the product, and the option choices are the different variations that buyers can choose from. So you could create different products in your store, or you can just use the product option to categorize your different product options and list out the choices that customers can choose. We hope that this was helpful and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to website.com and watch our other website tutorials. Thanks for watching.